Our team quickly understood that the key to success in designing our cardboard chair was to use the IDEO model and understand our design constraints. We also understood that each step and constraint was interconnected and that it was a fluid and flexible design process. We began by observing and measuring chairs and reviewed the class definition of a chair, four legs and a back. We immediately began brainstorming different ideas by drawing up our designs. We used paper modeling to get an idea of what may and may not work. As we brainstormed, we kept our five design constraints in mind. Our chair had to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye, something people would want to sit in. It had to be durable, able to hold a 200 pound person and not collapse. It had to be functional, four legs and a back, and able to withstand normal use. No. On top of this, it had to be sustainable, made out of 100% recycled and recyclable material. Since cardboard was our only building material, this would be easy. Finally, the challenge was the less is more constraint, which meant designing the lightest possible chair that was still durable and functional.